Hey guys and gals, so today is another shark eye on video and today I'm going to show you all how to set up your charging station and your robot when you first get it. Now this is a basic tutorial that will just walk you step by step on what to do with this or the smaller version which is right here or this one depending on what you have. This is a one mount charger, this is not. So. We're going to unravel our cord and place the charger up against the wall or a surface. Here I'm using a tire because I'm in the garage. Since the babies are sleeping, we don't want to wipe them. So, we have our charger set up. The green indicator light on the side is lit up, so that means it's working. Now, if you have a wand, let me grab a wand, you will place the wand in the top just like this and the blue light will come on that means it's charging we'll leave that in there for demonstration purposes if it's not on turn it and it should kick right on now say you have the robot and you've never used one of these before this is an 851 this is actually for my aunt and my uncle there's a power button on the side O is off, I is on. We're going to turn her on. If the battery is dead, say it doesn't come on at all, or it's blinking, or blinking red or something, you're going to carefully take the robot, put it towards the robot, I mean the docking station, and push the robot very slowly all the way up and back off just a hair. And as you can see, it's charging. If your robot has a charge, you can simply back it off, hit dock, and I turned it sideways so it can find it, and it will go and find its home. So it's going to try to go under my truck because it's trying to circle around. But once it, once the eyes on the front sense the home, it's going to line up. And it's going to go straight to its home and dock. Now this might take a few times if it doesn't get a perfect dock. So that one there, it's showing is an okay dock, apparently. But it's not blinking, so it might start back up in here in a second. It's got a time delay inside of it. And we'll go ahead and just pull it back so we don't have to wait. And now you see it blinking one, two, three on the bars. That shows that it is charging in fact. Once it's once you're ready to use it, you hit the clean button or start your app, and it will take off. Now, you're gonna want your charger out in an open area or behind something that can hide it. So say you have a coffee table that's kind of big you can hide it beside it or behind it you don't want nothing blocking the path so the best thing to do is take your robot walk it all the way up pull it off just a little bit and just move your stuff to where there's enough room about about two inches that way you can find it now if you have a robot in a large home so say like my aunt's house. My aunt's house is a square, we'll say. And all the rooms go around. So it goes down, over, up, over. Inside there's another room, but they're connected with sliding doors. And they're gonna need a charger in the living room and probably in the back room. Because with the 850, sorry for the motorcycle noise, so for an 850 or 750, 725 or 700, they're not the 1000 series, which is the new ones that just came out. They're about 500 bucks, 400 bucks and up. Those have a smart feature that actually maps out your house and it will find its home. Still kind of a pain because it's got to map the whole house. And then, but this, this robot will cover about half the house. So the best thing is to do, put it in a room with a charger and then have a charger on the other side of the house and it will go from one charger to the other as it dies. So if it dies, 
say in the kitchen, which is in the middle, it can go right or left and find a home. It's going to have about 15 minutes of walk around time to find its home. 15 to 20 minutes, and it won't be running full speed, so it's conserving energy. It'll walk around, it finds its home, and once it finds it, a dock, you schedule it, you turn it on when it's fully charged. It takes, they say it takes a good eight hours to charge these, but I always say four to six for your first go around. You can go ahead and run it um, because most of the time they come with a pretty good charge. But that's how to set up your charger and everything for your Shark Ion guys. I hope this video helps. And uh, if you have more than one of these, make sure you space them apart. If you put them too close together, they will fight for a charger. How do I know? Because I have five in one room because all of them take off from the living room and go all around. So, thanks for watching. I hope you liked that video. If not, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working on content. I'm working on getting this channel better. Make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button to help the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.